Hello, my most amazing artists. We are starting our new project called Surprise Tigers in the Jungle. It's a painting or a project inspired by a Henry Rousseau painting. And I will attach some information about Henry or Henri Rousseau, who's a French painter who lived quite a while ago in the late 1800s, early 1900s. And he was fascinated by jungles and the things that lived in the jungle. So we are taking some of his artwork and making our own. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create tigers. Now, I dug around in the art room and I found some painted paper. I'm pretty sure you guys did when you were in kindergarten with me. And I'm gonna leave all the supplies you would need for this project, including oil pastels, which came in finally from our, for our art kits, in the office. If you don't wanna come get it, you can try and use crayon and just regular orange construction paper and that would be just fine. However, I'll leave all the things we're using in class just for you guys too so you can have the exact project we're doing. So we have our painted paper and you're gonna have it going vertical so it's taller than it is wide. So you'll need your paper and you're gonna need some oil pastels. We are gonna be using white, both greens, red, and black. So if you don't have oil pastels and you can't come get yours from school to put in your art kit, crayons would work too. You um, would just wanna push kind of hard with crayons. They really show up. Painted paper has a texture. It feels bumpy from when we did those texture combs. If you're using construction paper, it'll feel a little bit smoother. But we are gonna go for it. We're not drawing with pencil first. We're going straight into the oil pastels. We are gonna get out our white oil pastel. An oil pastel is a little bit messier than a crayon. It's made with oil and pigment, and pigment is a fancy word for color. So sometimes they break and they get dirty, and that's okay. They also can smear. And we are going to outline this in black, but I want to draw in white first because white does not smear quite as bad as black. So if you're at home, protect your surface just in case it gets messy. You might want to have a washcloth or some baby wipes nearby, and something to clean your hands later. So here we go. You ready? We're going to make our tigers. So the first thing we we'll start with is find the middle of our paper. Boop. And kind of go up just a little bit and off to the side. We don't want to put an eye in the center. That'd be a little weird. So we're going to go to the center, move up a little bit and to the side. And we're going to put a circle. Okay. You don't want your eye way at the top and you don't want it way at the bottom because we don't have room for its head and its face. Now that is a very small eye and we're gonna actually make a bigger circle because it's not only the eye, but the fur around the tiger's eye. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw out a bigger circle and color it in. If you draw it too small the first time, the wonderful thing about color or oil pastels is you could just make it bigger as you go. So try to color it in as full or as smooth as you can, you're gonna get little crumbs. Don't wipe them away, just leave them, you'll shake them off later. All right, so now we're gonna take this eye and we wanna make another one about the same size on the other side. This isn't the easiest thing to do, so if you draw it a little too small in the beginning, you can always color it in bigger. And since this paper has texture, you're never gonna get it completely smooth, and that's okay, you can try coloring in little circles, but you want two circles that are about the same size. Mine are kind of off center. I'm not gonna worry about that. All right, now put your white pastel down and I want you to get out your two greens or a light green and a darker green. So with the light green, we're gonna color the inside part of our tiger's eye. This is like the iris of your eye. So if you have brown eyes or blue eyes or green eyes, this is that part of the color. And you wanna leave some white around it because remember that white, I'm gonna fix that, is the fur around your eye. Mrs. Cole. Made them a little too small. I want to make it bigger. I want to pick up that crumb. Don't wipe it. All right. So I want a nice circle, but it's still white around the eye. We're going to do the same thing on the other side because we're kind of going to be symmetrical. Remember, symmetrical is the same on both sides. And we're going to try to make our tiger symmetrical. All right. So now we have some glowing eyes. You're gonna take that darker green and we wanna give the illusion that our eye has form or more three-dimensional. And you do that by adding a darker color and kind of coloring a C on one side. Then we go on the same side and color another C. And it kind of blends with that other color 
and gives you that illusion of form. And I have a lot of crumbs because they're new pastels, but that's okay. I can always take my paper, I'm gonna tap it in the garbage can, and the crumbs are gone. Try not to smear it. Okay, now that we have our eyes, we're gonna go ahead and use our white pastel, and we're gonna finish drawing. We're gonna draw straight vertical lines coming down from the eye to make the bridge of our tiger's nose. So we kinda wanna, with our hands, figure out how far down we want that nose. If we go just a little bit, he has a very tiny face. If we go too long, he has a really long face. So you kinda wanna bring it down just about medium. And now I'm kind of off center, and that's okay. It just is how it is. Drawing is not perfect. We're just trying our best. So I'm going to go ahead and just draw a line going straight down on each side. I think that's pretty good. Make sure it's about even, and then I want you to do a horizontal line. So it now looks like you have a box. Okay. Now we're going to turn this into our tiger's nose. And the tiger's nose is kind of like a triangle, but upside down. So we have this straight line, and I'm gonna turn this in to an upside down triangle by just drawing the letter V, okay? Then I want you to take your white crayon and color it in. So color in that nose. And now you're thinking, Mrs. Cole Tigers don't have white noses. Well, in our oil pastel kit, we don't have pink, and tigers kinda of have pink noses. We only have red, and white plus red makes kind of a pink color. So go ahead and color lightly with the red over the white. And if you wanna blend more white, you can, because these are oil pastels and they kind of mix. So there you go, and you have kind of a pinky nose. Now, my oil pastel is a little dirty. Um, all I have to do is on the back side of my paper, color that away and clean off where it's dirty, and magically, it's all good. Okay, I'm gonna take off my crumbs. Now we wanna build our muzzle or the face of our tiger. So I'm gonna start and I'm gonna make a line going straight down from the nose. And then I'm gonna turn this into a circle that comes all the way back to the nose. So I'm gonna go circle. And I wanna try and do the same size on the other side. If it's not perfect, that's okay. It's really hard to draw without an eraser. All right, so now we have a muzzle. And yes, we're coloring this in. So go ahead and color in your muzzle. You color more neat than Mrs. Cole is. Mrs. Cole's going pretty fast, so you don't have to sit here and watch me color. So you're gonna color, color, color. So it's nice and white. It's picking up the texture from my painted paper. That's pretty cool. If you're using your uh, brand new oil pastels and you run out of oil pastel, you can totally peel this paper down. The paper is gonna help keep your hand a little clean while we go this first time. But eventually, like Mrs. Cole, you're gonna run out of oil pastel and have to peel that paper, and that's okay. If your oil pastel breaks, and they do pretty easily because they're soft, just keep using them. Broken oil pastel still work. So I'm gonna try and darken up my muzzle. Okay. So now I can add a little tongue maybe where I want my tongue to be, and then a chin and I'm running out of room. Hopefully you guys are doing better than Mrs. Cole. So I have to peel down my paper. Okay. And some of this we can fix with the black oil pastel later. So I'm gonna put my chin and I have a little tongue right in there. And we're gonna go ahead and color in where I want the tongue to be in white. And we're gonna do the same thing like we did the nose. Take your pink or your red. And I'm okay with this being a little darker because it's his tongue. So if you wanna leave it more red, you can. And see, I can kind of fix where I didn't like where it was before. If I wanna blend it a little lighter, I can do that too. Up to you. All right, so now we have his little muzzle, his face, and now we need to make a head. So what I want you to do is kind of put your finger above and in between their eyes and kind of go up and put a little dot, not a big dot. Then put a little dot over here on the side of each cheek. So I have three dots. And that's giving me a point of, I need to make a curve coming from here down to here. And so I'm running out of room here, so I know my curve has to be kind of flat there. And that's okay. And I can try and come around this side and make it look the same. So it kind of looks like you're putting a little football helmet on your eyes. 
and that's okay. Okay, good. Now we just have one more thing to draw on our tiger and that is some ears. He's a little earless and a tiger's ears is just like a cat ear and it's like a triangle. So go ahead and add two triangles and your tiger's ears can be as big or as small as you want. It's up to you. And there you go. That's our basic tiger face. Now put away your white pastel. And we're going to use the black oil pastel to do some finishing touches. Black oil pastel can smear really easy. I suggest kind of working from the top down so you're not running your hand over it. Remember, if you get the crumbs, just leave it. So I said to work top down, but I'm going to go ahead and do the eyes first, and then we'll outline the head. So I want to outline my eyeball. I kind of want to be careful. And then I give myself a pupil. And you decide how big or how small it is. Don't wipe your crumbs. I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. And it really helps bring out their tiger. Try to make the pupils about the same size. Cool. Now, if you're going to get stuff on your black oil pastel, you can leave it or you can just kind of wipe it away on a paper towel or your back of your paper. Now I'm going to go over all my white lines. Remember, your paper is kind of bumpy, so you don't want to go too fast. But I'm going over all my lines to redraw what I already drew, but it won't be as hard this time. And Mrs. Cole just realized I said start from the top and go down, and I forgot to do the head. But that's okay. I can show you how we can do that if you do that too. So I'm going to go over all my, I'm outlining, right, with my black oil pastel. And see, I was able to fix that one oops right there. If your black oil pastel gets a little gray because of all the white, you can just kind of wipe it away. Now I'm going to outline where my chin is. The harder you push, the darker it'll be. I'm going to add a little line for my tongue. You don't have to. I'm going to go ahead and add some whiskers. Okay, I want to outline the outside of my eye, or you can leave it white, that is up to you. Now I'm going to go ahead and outline my ears, and then my head. Sometimes you can turn your paper so you're coloring down instead of across or over. Again, it's up to you. We just kind of want to do our best to cover all that white line. And there's our tiger, except for it's missing one important thing. It's stripes. A tiger has stripes. So we're going to use little zigzag lines to create our stripes. And you can use the side of your oil pastel or the top. And you can give your tiger expression. If you want your tiger to look ferocious and mean, you can kind of angle your lines like a V and it gives it more of an angry look. Or you can keep it arched and make it look friendly. So I'm going to start by adding... A zigzag line in the middle and I want mine to be like a ferocious tiger so I'm gonna add some zigzag lines at the top I'm gonna add some zigzag lines on my cheeks and what I ever do on this side I need to do on this side if you want to add a couple zigzag lines on the bridge of its nose you can if you want to add a couple zigzag lines in his ears you can do that too, and even down here on the chin if you want to. And that's it. This is your tiger. This is probably all we're going to have time to do today in class. But if you want to get one step ahead of your friends at school, you can. You can leave it just like this. Take a picture of your tiger and set that to the assignment, and that's perfectly what I expect. Or you can carefully cut out your tiger's head and take a picture of that too up to you. So good luck on your tiger. Break it down in steps. I know that was a lot. So you can watch this video all the way through or pause it with Mrs. Cole and watch Mrs. Cole and then draw it and then pause and watch whatever makes sense to you. Good luck on your tiger. And if you really don't want green eyes for your tiger and you want to do blue or yellow, you can do that too. It's your tiger. So have fun with your tiger. If you need to come get supplies, come get them. When you're all done, you might want to clean your messy hands and I would shake off 
your oil pastel crumbs. Remember, we don't smear. And there you go. I can't wait to see your tigers, boys. I will talk to you soon. Goodbye, my most amazing artist.